What's up everyone? It is Brock and I am back with a, another video. Today we are talking about conditionally rendering components inside of React. Now, if you are an experienced React developer or someone who has spent a substantial amount of time inside of React, you've probably had to do this a time or two. And you probably remember that the first time that you had to do it, it was a little bit tricky, right? It, it's a little bit confusing. You're not exactly sure you want to use an if statement, but you can't use an if statement inside of JSX. So it gets really confusing and it gets confusing fast. So what I want to do is take you guys through a very simple, very basic example of how you can conditionally render components inside of React. So without further ado, grab your code editor, grab your terminal and grab your coffee. And let's get into it. All right, so we're picking up here inside of a boilerplate create React app application. So if you have not already created your create React applica application, run npx create React app with a title and do that, and then uh, come back here, just pause the video and come back. So once you've done that, here we are, we're greeted with our little spinning React icon and our edit app.js and save to reload. and all that mumbo jumbo now the first thing that we're going to do as we always do is we're going to get rid of all that mumbo jumbo and we're going to create a new file and for the sake of best practices i'm going to create a components folder and i'm going to call this test.jsx the same naming clature that we use in all of our tutorials and i'm going to create a react functional arrow component it's going to be called test and inside of this i'm going to say uh, a p tag i am conditionally rendered with a smiley face and I'll save that I'll come back to my app and I will bring in that test component self-closing I'll save and reload the app and you'll see I am conditionally rendered here so right now this is a lie right because this is just text inside of a component that we are showing on the screen so to get started with conditionally rendering something you obviously need a condition right so we need some sort of flag some sort of variable some sort of value that we're looking for that we can check and we can say hey if this is correct show this thing and if it's not don't so the easiest way to uh, get started with that and to show you how it'll work is to just use a simple uh, use state setup so if you don't know about the use state hook I've got a video on that pause the video go check that out read some docs and come back here when you feel comfortable with the use state hook and you understand what we're doing use state gonna go ahead and auto import that and then I'll use get my uh, snippet here going and I'm gonna call this is toggled my function will be set is toggled and by default we want it to be false to interact with this state value I'm gonna make a button and this button is gonna say toggle and it's gonna have an on click function and this on click function is going to be a arrow function that runs set is toggled and it's going to set the value of is toggled to the opposite value of what is toggled is currently set to so that's kind of a tongue twister and i hope you followed but we'll pass that in here is toggled we'll hit save now we have our button that we can click nothing's going to change here because we haven't actually said conditionally that we want to render something so I mentioned before that inside of React and inside of JSX, you can't use if statements. So if you've tried to conditionally render something, you probably started by, you know, saying, uh, if this is true, then do this thing, right? And you saved it and it yelled at you, right? Because it was like, wait, uh, uh, hold on. You, you can't do if statements, right? And you were like, oh, well, well, what the heck do I do now? Uh, and so that's probably why you're you're looking for this video, right? Well, let me show you inside of JSX You have to use what's called a ternary operator uh, And there's two different versions that you can use uh, and I'll walk through both of those one kind of builds off of the other so the first option here is We can open our curly braces and we can check the condition Right, so in our example what we're looking for is is toggled to be set to true in this example all we need to say is is toggled because is toggled is a boolean and we don't need to say if the boolean is equal to true because the operator already understands that if it's a boolean we want it to be true unless we tell it otherwise if this were a string and we were looking for a string that said that it was true we would say you know 
triple equals equals to true, you know, or if this was some sort of numeric value, uh, we might say uh, is not equal is not equal to four um, render this thing, right? But again, in this example, all we want to do is say if is toggle to set to true double ampersand, however you say it. And then this is where we say if is toggled is true, what do we want to happen? Well, we want to return the test component. And so I'll just comment this out and I'll save. And so now we're saying that if is toggled is true, we want to return our test component. Now by default, after a refresh here, our initial value is false. So we do not see the test component. Now, if I click the button to toggle is toggled to set it to true, we can see our value or our, our, our component because the value has been changed from false to true. If I click it again, it goes away because now the value is set to false. So that's how you can conditionally render components inside of React um, using a ternary operator. Well, let's say that we want to take this a step further, right? So I'll get rid of this line and I'll bring this line down. Now, instead of saying a double ampersand sign here, we can do a question mark. And it's the same kind of thing. We want to say if is toggled is true, do this thing. And if it's not, we do a colon and then we say do, you know, whatever else we want to happen. So in React, you want to return uh, something. So if this is, you know, you want it to do nothing, you can return null, you can return an empty string, uh, you can return a JSX fragment. You can really return whatever you want to here. Um, but I'm going to show you uh, by returning a p tag that says uh, the value is false and so i will refresh the app here reset our state values and you'll see the value is false i toggle this and you can see they both match up toggle off the value is false and one of them goes away so that's a very quick and dirty example of how to conditionally render components inside of react if you found this video helpful please leave a like Subscribe for more. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.